what's happening. So, um, 100% honesty, okay? Um, I haven't posted any any videos or any of my content to Facebook or a majority of other platforms um, for, for a hot minute now. Um, I've got videos on YouTube for sure. Um, I'm trying to post more on YouTube, um, but I've got this thing I'm working on, right? Um, I don't post things to Facebook because it's a, a very prominent space for uh, hardcore conservative evangelicals and things of that nature. And so when things tend to not align with their theology, uh, theology or the, uh, theological point of views and their, their ideologies and whatnot like that, or their political point of views, they tend to attack those things more. Um, and so a lot of what God has been putting on my heart probably isn't going to align with a lot of those things. And I've already gone through certain things with social media from people being just crazy wild, especially Christians, um, crazy wild with how they attack or, you know, go about handling certain situations as far as abortion and things of that nature goes. And so my, my point at the, or my, my, my whole approach to that now is if I don't have to subject myself to it, I'm not going to, which it's kind of a double-edged sword in a way because I know what I'm fixing to go get into is what God wants me to be into and wants me to talk about things of that nature. But at the same time, I got to deal with this, with these people. And so it's just like, I, I got to deal with the brunt of whatever persecution or whatever comes. But then this is also what God wants me to do. This is also what God wants me to talk about. This is the elephant in the room that needs to be, that needs to be discussed. And we're not talking about this. And sometimes it's purposeful that we're not talking about it because we're benefiting from the corruption and we're, we're getting what we want. But at the same time, our soul's at stake as well. And so it's just like, post it, face the same stuff that I did a while back, or don't post it and not have to deal with any of it. But then at the same time, now people aren't getting what they need from God because I'm not allowing him to move. And so... At this point, I'm trying to take that step to go ahead and deal with it. But it's difficult because at the same time, I have to ward off the old way that I used to do things. And it's it's difficult to do that, especially when I know I'm capable of doing it and capable of handling stuff. It's just not in a godly fashion. And so it's not hard to ward it off. It's just more so if I don't have to put myself through it, I'm not going to because of that. Um, but again, it, it, I'm in a completely different space now. And so it's not like it's hard to do it. It's just I, I don't think I should have to do that. I don't think I should have to ward that part of me off because some people just can't control what they say and can't keep their opinions to themselves, so on and so forth. Like people are just r ridiculously ignorant sometimes. And so it's like, I shouldn't have to go and keep this stuff in me from like, I shouldn't have to ward this stuff off because you can't control yourself. But then at the same time, I'm thinking about Jesus and I'm like, wouldn't have got Jesus if he didn't do what he had to do and accomplish his mission. So, um, I know the stuff that I'm going to speak on. God's been putting on my heart to speak on. God's been telling me to speak on. And that's the big reason why I haven't been doing it. Uh, is because I, I, I'm borderline fearful of how Christians are going to approach things and how other people may approach things and then my reaction afterwards, which would be to come find you. And then that's, it, it, it's game over at that point because I'm saved with my hands ain't. So, and I'm I'm very used to using my hands. So, um, it, I, I just, I got to deal with that. And so... Whatever comes from me talking about what God wants me to talk about, I'm going to deal with one way or the other. I, I just, I, I'm still warding off the whole, if I don't have to put myself through it, I'm not going to. So I'm getting past that stage. Um, it's just, it's difficult. So um, disclaimer, I'm not perfect at all by any means. Um, I've, I've got plenty, plenty of mistakes in my life. Um, but I know the things that God has put on my heart to talk about need to be said, especially for us Christians, especially for us Christians. Um, I'm not I'm not trying to save everybody. I'm only here for a, a 
specific people and not like specific people in mind like names but more so God's trying to reach a specific group of people but he's not trying to reach everybody that sees the videos that, that, that hears my content and so in that those are the people that I'm trying to focus on and, and reach and if that if that happens if that uh, cool that's what's up and so I got to deal with the rest so um with that um again I'm not perfect I'm probably going to make some mistakes along the road. I'm, I'm probably going to. Um, again, I'm not perfect, so it's, it's probably going to happen. So, as a Christian, to fellow Christians, have grace. Have grace. Because I'm going to talk about some stuff that's it's probably contrary to what you think and what you believe as far as the gospel, as far as uh, uh, politics and the worldviews and things of that nature. I'm going to be talking about some stuff. Uh, I'm going to be talking about some stuff that I've experienced personally uh, within the church and things of that nature. Um, I'm not saying no names, um, but I will be talking about my experiences and things of that nature. And so if if you want to learn from this stuff, if you want to understand things that God is trying to help his people understand, watch the videos. And it, it's just that simple. It, it's just that simple. Um, come with an open mind and not to... And when I say open mind, I don't mean like, I'm going to lead you from Jesus. Nah, nah. I care more about you and your soul to lead you away from Jesus. Like, that's that's not going to happen. Like, I care too much about you to do that. Um, what, I, what I'm what i going to do is show you a different side, the side that God has showed me, um, that you, you might not think is godly because of indoctrination and because of political perspectives and political motivations and things of that nature i'm not politically motivated i don't take sides i don't i'm not republican not democrat i'm just i just i got democratic views and republican views i'm all for the second amendment but i'm also not for 19 babies being murdered and not doing nothing about it. you know what i'm saying i'm all for pro life but i'm not for a cop being able to murder a black man who was unarmed like it, i'm just i'm not i'm not with all that um if you're not going to kill the white man who's got a gun to your head and threatening you and all that fun stuff then why would you kill an unarmed black man that just doesn't make sense to me uh, not politically motivated not racially motivated it's just the, the these are the bottom lines. These are the facts of the matter. I'm not, again, not into politics. I, I, so I could go on a whole spiel, but I'm not going to do that. So um, that, that's just me. It's just me. And so I'm going to talk about some, th some stuff that might be contrary to what you think and what you believe. Um, and as a Christian to another Christian, have grace and come with an open mind, uh, a mind for the desires to understand. That's, that's what I'm trying to say. Come with the mind that desires to understand and see things another way, right? Because God's definitely going to be shifting some perspectives. Um, so with that, this is a little intro to the series of videos that I'm going to be doing. So um, hopefully this gives you enough information and uh, hopefully you want to continue watching. All right. Love y'all. Peace.